Hi, hello, and welcome. The sun did come up today, Diamondbacks <laughs> fans. <laughs> Hey, did it uh, really? <laughs> yeah, no, it did. For Dan, I'm Jay. This is the shot clock, and let's get it started. Fernando Rodney, one of those feared meltdowns. Well, it happened in Dodger Stadium, and the sweep was complete. All games by one run. They were competitive. Where do they go from here? Well, everybody wants Fernando Rodney strung up by his toenails right now, and understandably so. Here's what you got to consider. The last time the guy blew two saves in succession, he followed up by being basically unhittable for a month. If I'm the manager of the team, I give him one more blown save, and that's it. The opposite side of that argument, though, Jay, is you're going into the All-Star break. This would be the perfect time to throw Archie Bradley out there to see if he can do the job, because you have to ask yourself one question. Do you feel good with Fernando Rodney as your closer going into the playoffs? And if you don't, then it makes sense to give it to Bradley and see if he can pull it off. Archie, of course, saying, but I kind of still want to be a starter, but yeah, I'm the best guy. I'm the best option, maybe they have to go that way. Well, even if you move Archie Bradley up, that eighth inning guy can be just as important as the oh, closer, absolutely. and who's gonna fill that role? Great questions, and yeah. there's a lot of things to consider during the All-Star break. Um, you had a column on AZ Central Sports, check it out, about their trade scenarios. Now, they don't have a deep farm system, Maybe they're buyers at the deadline, but what can they sell? All right, what can they sell? Two different things. Number one, Yasmani Tomas, obviously a butcher in the field. This guy has got a future in the American League. I would try to sell that guy to some team in the American League, maybe get a pitching prospect that you can groom like a Taiwan Walker. The other big move you could do is trade A.J. Pollock. The team actually won without him this year, 31-13 and 13 while he was on the shelf. They probably can't sign him long term. If you can get a pitching prospect or an arm for the rotation this year, I look into that as much as I like AJ. Don't trade AJ. That's all the time we have on the shot clock. Poor Dan, a little crazy. See ya. I'm Jay. Have a great day.